Another thing you can do, let's go buddy, is to do these left hand circles where you walk in a complete circle like that all the way back to where you started and you say sit. Good. And you just walk down the street or the sidewalk. Okay, just like this. Doing your le little left hand circles. Come on, if he lags behind, coax him to catch up. Sit. Good. Reward him. See, he's looking up at me and I'm rewarding him straight down. Eye contact, that's what you always want to have. Okay, do one more here. Come on, buddy, come on. Always coax him to catch up if he lags behind. Sit. Good. Don't ever pull him. If he lags behind, coax him to catch up. You're, you're uh, showing a little bit of leadership there. Get him to catch up. If he goes ahead of you, you do your little prompt to, to slow him down. It's just kind of like tapping the brakes. You see me doing it throughout the videos with him. That's all you got to do. This leash is always loose. The only any kind of tension there is, it's the occasional little prompt like that to slow him down. For example, if I'm going to turn, okay. Right before I turn, slow him down and turn. It's really important to do that. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. Coax him to catch up if he lags behind. Sit. Good. If you run out of food or you didn't, didn't grab any food, as soon as his butt hits the ground, you want to reward him that. So you say good and, and pet him instead of good and reward. Um, it'll work well if, if you forget to have food at that moment. And then go. If you're going to have him be free like this, you see how I kind of rushed to the end of the leash? All I did was stay put. I went like that and he backed off a little bit. He didn't, he stopped pulling. So that's your move when he's on free time is just to make sure that this leash is loose. And if he tries to pull you, you do a little pull back and he'll come back your way. Also, if you're having a huge problem with pulling when he's on free time, practice your recall. Come. Good, that's all you gotta do. You don't have to have him sit or do anything else. Just call him back to you, give him a reward. Continue your walk and just walk down the street. Come, just like that. Good. You're definitely uh, solving that pulling problem because you are constantly drawing him back to you and you'll see that he'll stop pulling because you could call him to come to you at any time. This is a, a new pattern. If for the next few weeks you do this every walk, He's, gonna, he's just going to be used to always coming back to you whenever he sees a distraction or even if he gets to the end of the leash, he's going to hover around you. So you want that. You want to always have this leash loose, loose and you, uh, if you continue to handle him the way you see me handling him here, he'll keep getting calmer and calmer. But if you go back to letting him pull you and you're not noticing that the leash is tied a lot on, you know, when you're walking him, you can easily make him more... Uh, hyper and overstimulated and stressed out because that's what it causes this leash tension always doing this letting the dog pull you will stress the dog out and then bad behavior comes from that so be really careful just watch this video make sure that you handle him the way you see we handle him we're handling him here and with the, the consecutive sits and the left hand circles just five or six or seven at a time which will take you all of two minutes each and then let him be free the rest of the walk but make sure that you're watching that leash tension that's always loose and if you're if you're having a problem with him pulling you call him back to come four or five six times in a row during your walk you got your pouch on you got everything there and just using those things on your walk you should be having the same results that i'm having here come on buddy let's go